that subscribe button if you see something you like. <laughs> Tap it. Ghost Hard! <laughs>
So somewhere along here is where the body was supposedly found. Of unfortunately, don't want to disrespect the event that somebody was murdered to lose their life. That actually did happen. Um, and somewhere along here is where she was supposedly buried. Although there's some ca doubts cast upon this narrative because um, according to court records, her body was actually found not at Cathedral Park, was actually down the street a little bit. So she might not have even been murdered here. That is thrown into question, although that is the common lore. Um, but if she, if she was in fact buried here, as the stories say, and she was buried somewhere around here because her body was in a shallow grave not too far from the bridge. It looks like they're gassing it for thermite. That's a speck of creepy. You can hear screaming right now. It's that bird. But that definitely could be a creepy sound. It's up in those rafters. That, especially at night, that would easily sound like screaming. That was creepy. It, I think I missed most of the screech, but it's screeching like crazy. I wanted to kind of record this music and have like with no with no people talking. Because good it's luck on really that. Creepy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. My family's not exactly good at being. Yeah. Quiet. Well, I know. I was hoping that you could. Contribute. Megan, give him the cue. <laughs> Cathedral Park. Haunted or not haunted? Uh, I don't know. I think the jury is still out. Is it? For me. Yes. I felt, I felt pretty peaceful. I didn't feel too spooked. My shorts were clean. His weren't, yes. but mine were clean. Well, but that had nothing to do with a haunting or not. That just had to do with <laughs> climatic conditions. I have to admit that maybe I'm uh, going to break our promise to our viewers about uh, uh, getting underwear destroyed. But it, not because I'm scared or ghosts or anything like that on this one, but it's because uh, just from swamp ass, because it's uh, in the 90s out here, I think. Something like that. It's pretty hot. But... I, I think the the thing that everybody says they hear is the screaming in the park, and we could debunk that one pretty easily. Yeah. Because the birds screeching like crazy and that steel mill or whatever mm -hmm. across the way. So I felt like that was probably a hard one to swallow. I didn't hear anybody saying help, but yeah, I heard a lot of screeching noise. And to be honest with you, the creaking of the of the cranes and stuff across the river, that was actually really creepy. It was pretty creepy. I mean, even if it's not otherworldly, I could see the how in the middle of the night and it's deserted and you hear that. It's, you know, because there were a lot of like deserted um, warehouses and stuff out there. There's a lot of old infrastructure yeah. from, yeah. and so it has kind of a, kind of a, a, a you know, ghost town kind of vibe going on in that, just in that area of the city, not just necessarily the park, but on one of the videos where D was asking something, you know, asking Thelma, you know, are you here? Do you want us to tell your story? Sarah? And there's, you can hear a very distinct voice say yes. It says blunt force trauma and stabbing. Okay. She's a homicide victim. Thelma, we can hear you potentially through this box if you want to tell us what happened. Were you... Were you stabbed here? Did your life end tragically from some butthole that kidnapped you? That is the technical term, by the way. He was a convicted butthole. That kidnapped you? That is the technical term, by the way. So it could have been something, but it didn't really sound like that. because there, no, there were no other voices really at the time. It sounded very distinct. Um, but that doesn't necessarily prove anything. Um, People do say they see apparitions too, and so that's a little harder to, it's easier to debunk the screaming, it's harder mm -hmm. to debunk apparitions. I mean, that could be somebody walking down by the water, um, the water's edge, I suppose, and I don't know, trick of the moonlight. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> but we, I mean, I didn't see that. I didn't see anything sp spooky. I didn't feel spooked when we were there. Uh, and then the other thing, I don't know if we ever caught any of it on video or if it'll be included, but the guy yelling at the ducks. We did. That was yes. a little bit spooky too, yes. but that had nothing to do with that. Was just that's just was, Portland ambiance for you. The, you know, to be honest with you, one of the things for me about this about this adventure was this one was it felt different because it was very personal. Like this was somebody a a fifteen year old girl that was murdered. You know, right. we knew her name. We visited her grave. I 
most amazing tree I've ever seen. So I had to come over and say hello. Pretty gnar. Well, here we are at the final resting place for Thelma Taylor, the woman who, 15 year old girl really, who was murdered back in 1949 at Cathedral Park or near Cathedral Park. So regardless of whether or not she haunts Cathedral Park, for sure she was uh, in fact historically a victim of that crime. And um, we are here today to, to pay her our respects to her. It's her final resting place and uh, just a few miles from where the incident occurred. So even though we were there at the park where supposedly there's, you know, screaming and sounds and, and perhaps she haunts there, um, this is this is where she's resting. How many bacon strips? I not very many. Yeah, same. Maybe a half. Thinking, thinking about one. if you were there after dark, it would be creepy, and I could see how you know if anything that you saw in the moonlight or something else could be construed as you know ghostly. Uh, but when we were there, no, I felt really calm, and again, you know, nothing other than just sort of the um, you know the tragedy aspect of it. But that was more just you know. Yeah, I'm gonna go with scary. one. Kind of the same, like it was. It was um, actually a really beautiful park. The water and the bridge and the scenery—it's all lovely. Definitely with the screeching and the noises across the river and the noises from the bridge. And if you, you, you know, lights go down, I can definitely see where I would want to be there. Too too late. Even the guy screaming at the ducks. I'm not sure. Want to <laughs> yeah, you want to be there after for dark. <laughs> so, I'll, so I'll go with one because I know that we have trouble with the like. I always do these fractional bacon. Yeah, I'll give it like .78 like bacon. bacon strips. You know, you know, <laughs> like 34 percentage of a point. I'll average it at one, I think. So. Yep, that's it. That's All right. Cathedral Park. <laughs> Check it out. Check, Check it out it. Check out it. Go <laughs> <laughs>